Let's look at simpler designs or simpler examples of knockouts and overprints. In this example, I've launched my attributes panel, and you can do that by going to the window menu, choose output, and then attributes. And these examples on the top row and the bottom row are the same exact shapes. So I have in the first column, I have a cyan square and a magenta square. In the middle column, I have a yellow square and a cyan square. And in the third column, I have a magenta square and a yellow square. But depending on whether or not I set the project up to print as a knockout or an overprint, I'll get two different results. By default, I'll get the examples on the bottom, where I will print vector art, which is what this is, printing as a knockout. And so when I print the cyan square, I'm going to leave a hole in the shape of the magenta square so that there will be unprinted paper. So when I come over the top and I add magenta to the print, all of the magenta will hit unprinted paper, and then you can leave that magenta, and it will be bright magenta when it's printed. If I set either one of these squares to print as an overprint, it'll allow one color to print right over top of the other. Now if I look at the bottom example, I can see that the magenta is printing over top of the cyan, and so in this case I would print a solid cyan square. It would be the entire shape of the square, it wouldn't leave a little notch for the magenta. And when I print a solid magenta square over the top, anywhere that overlaps, the colors would blend. And so printing inks are transparent, cyan mixed with magenta creates blue. If we did the same with the yellow, we would print the yellow first, and then the, not the magenta, the cyan over the top. Anywhere that they mixed over top of each other would create green. And then if we did magenta with then yellow printed over the top of magenta, where it overlaps would produce red. It would only produce green, blue, and red if printed in 100% amounts because the RGB and the CMYK color gamuts or color modes are inverse properties of each other. So when we look at these squares, can you take a minute and figure out why I'm seeing some as pure rectangles and others as odd shapes. On the top row, I would expect, if these are printing just like these examples here, I would expect to see them as squares because with overprints, if I have a square, I print a square. But with knockouts, I'm supposed to leave a hole wherever another color is printed. I can see that illustrated in the middle example because I left a little notch where we're going to put the cyan. But on the example on the right and the left, we don't really see that knockout or that shape that's missing. It has to do with the color cyan being missing. I'm only seeing how the magenta in the first column interacts with cyan. And since cyan's been turned off, I can't see how they're going to interact. But I can see how um, cyan is going to interact with yellow. Because in the second example, the cyan is printing over the top of the yellow. And so if I'm going to print yellow first, I leave a hole where the cyan is going to go so that when I come back and I add the cyan to the image, I can print my full square. And so we can just see what happens if we turn certain channels off. So this is if I'm just looking at how the magenta and the yellow interact with one another. This is how the yellow in our example and the cyan would interact. In that first example here, I said, well, why do I have a full square of magenta? That's because the magenta prints over the top of the cyan. So in our knockout equation, the cyan in the first example is responsible for performing the knockout. I need to leave a hole where the magenta is going to sit or fill in, kind of like a puzzle piece. And so that when I come down here and I print the magenta, it can fill in that gap or that hole. And then we could, whoops. I did all of the examples. And then you can see how all the different colors would interact. And so even though in the top row we have an overprint and you would expect to see the overlapping of colors, if I'm only looking at two of the three colors, only the two colors that interact with each other will show the overprint. The second and third example here interact with the color yellow. And so if yellow is turned off, I won't see that interaction.